Alright, so now let's move to the include function. It is exactly the opposite of exclude. So we're going to have the same example in the visualizations. We have the two dimensions, category and country. And now we're going to say to Tableau, include customer dimension. And we're going to have the same aggregation, the sum of sales. So now what we are telling Tableau with this calculation is to add one more dimensions to the visualizations, to add the dimension customers to the two other dimensions that we have inside the visualizations. So here again, it's very dynamic. Tableau going to take the dimensions that are presented in the visualizations, the category and the country, and add to it a new dimension, the customers. And the function include is very similar to the exclude. It is dynamic. So it is depending on the dimensions that we have inside the visualizations. So again, the same example, if we go and add one more dimension the products we will end up having three dimensions in the visualizations and tableau in the lod expressions gonna add one more dimensions to the expression where we're gonna have at the ends four dimensions customers product category and country so that means in include function we are saying do the aggregations in all dimensions that we have inside the visualizations plus one more dimension that comes from the calculation. So it's really easy, right? So now to summarize, the fix function is very static. It doesn't care about the dimensions that we have inside the visualizations. It is completely independent. So it's gonna stay the same as you are changing the visualizations. But the exclude and include, they are depending on the visualizations. So exclude gonna go and remove one dimensions from the dimensions that are presented in the visualizations, where include gonna go and add plus one more dimension to the dimensions that are presented in the visualizations. So with that, we have now understanding how those three functions works in Tableau. So now we're going to go back to Tableau in order to practice those three functions. So let's go. All right, so now we need more attention about this function that include it is more difficult than the exclude and fixed. So let's have some coffee. Let's go. All right. So as we learned before that each dimensions has different level of details. For example, the first name has more details than the country or the category. So now comes the issue. If you want to remove such a details from the visualizations, so you want to remove the customer's names and you want to stick only with the category and the country, but still you want to introduce an aggregations that has to do with the customers with a dimension that has a lot of details. So for example, we want to bring here an aggregation that shows the average sales of customers for for each country and category, but without showing the customer's information as a dimension. So let's go and remove the first name from here. So we don't have here any customer's informations, but still we want to bring the aggregations to the customer's level by calculating the average sales of customers. In this case, if your aggregation is based on a dimensions with a high level of details like the customers or the order ID, then you have to use the function include. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go and create a new calculated field and we're going to call it average sales of customers. We're going to use the function include. So let's select the include. Now we have to say to Tableau which dimension can be included in the view. So currently we have the category and the country. We would like to add the first name or you can add the customer ID. doesn't matter. So let's add the first name and then we have to add the aggregation. So this time we're going to use the sum of sales. Now you might ask, why do we have the sum of sales? We are talking about the average. Well, the average is going to be the second aggregation that we're going to do it on top of this LOD expression. First, we have to summarize the values that we have inside the data source and then we're going to do the average on top of it. So we're going to do it step by step. Don't worry about it. Then we have to close the brackets like this. So as you can see now, the calculation is valid. Let's go and hit OK. So with that, as usual, we get a new calculated field. Let's drag and drop it to the view. We still are not there because here we have the average sales of customers, but the function that is used in Tableau is the sum. So we have to go and switch it to the average function. So let's go and do that. So with that, we got the average sales of customers for each category and country. So now we're going to see step by step how Tableau did the execution of the include. So the include going to depend on the dimensions of the view. So we have here the category and the country. That means Tableau can start up something like this. We have the category and the country. The next step, Tableau going to go and check the LOD function. So let's go and open it again. So we are telling Tableau now, go and include the first name to the dimensions that are displayed in the view. So Tableau can go and grab those informations, the first name and present it in the output. So we will have three dimensions, first name, category and country. So we can have something like this. So now if you compare the number of rows of the LOD expressions with the view, you can see that we have now more details in the LOD expressions since we added the first name. So here we have around eight rows, but in the view we have six rows. So the level of details of the LOD expressions 
expressions is higher than the view tab we're gonna go to the next step and say okay we have to have the sum of sales so we're gonna have the sales as well over here and tab we're gonna go start aggregating the rows so for example first we have george accessories and france it's gonna be only this row over here we don't have it anywhere else so we're gonna have the 91 then we have maria accessories germany and for that we have three rows so tab we're gonna go and aggregate those three rows in the outputs we will get something like this and so on so tab we're gonna go and start summarizing those values based on those three dimensions and at the end we will get in the output something like this so with that tab we calculated the sum of sales by including the first name to the dimensions that are presented in the visualization. And here we come to the issue where we have in the LOD expressions more details than the view. So in order to bring those results to the view, we have to aggregate it again. So we have to either summarize it or do the average and so on. So we cannot bring those details over here without doing any aggregations. In this example, we want to find the average of customers for each category and country that's why we have used the average function so that means if you are using the include function or you have more details in the LOD expressions, we have to aggregate the data in order to bring it to the visualizations. But in the other hand, if you are using exclude or fixed and the output of the LOD expression has lower level of details than the view, then what's going to happen? We're going to have duplicates. For example, you can see over here sales by category. You can see we have duplicates. So it doesn't matter which function we're going to use, summarize or average, we will get always the duplicates. The same thing for the exclude we had lower level in details in the expressions compared to the view that's why you can see duplicates we have the same numbers over here though three rows they are like repeated over here for the second category so this is the effect of the LOD expressions if the level of details in the expression is higher than the visualizations then we have to aggregate the data but if the level of details in the LOD expressions is lower than the view then what can happen we're gonna get duplicates so now back to our example tableau gonna go and find the average of those values so the first value is going to stay the same because we have it only as one row so it's going to stay the same but now for those two rows as you can see german accessories tab we're going to go and find the average of those two values we will get 954 and then for the next row we have accessories usa in the output we have only one row that's why the average is going to be exactly the same the same goes for monitor france the same value but the next value we have monitor germany here we have two values so tab we're gonna go and find the average of those two values and we will get 433 and for the last one we got only one value that's why we got exactly the same number yeah as you can see if you get more details as a result from the lod expressions things get more complicated and you have to be careful which aggregations you are using in the visualizations all right guys so with that we have learned how tableau can execute those three functions step by step and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i I really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye